Good afternoon. It's uh, Thursday, August 6th, 2020. So <clears throat> I've always been intrigued by a phrase from the Old Testament. Um, often applied, or maybe that's where the first time it was I heard it, uh, applied to King David that says that he neither turned to the right or to the left. And it was a way of describing um, <clears throat> David's faithfulness to God, um, that he didn't stray to the, to the right or, or to the left. So this phrase uh, occurs in scripture uh, a few times, and I, I wanna read to you a, a few of those. Uh, from Deuteronomy chapter five, verse 32. You must therefore be careful to do as the Lord God has commanded you you shall not turn to the right or to the left. And so here's the, the origin of that phrase. Um, we're to do what God has commanded us to do and neither stray to the right or to the left in doing it. From Joshua chapter um, 1, verse 7. Be strong and courageous. Be careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. So here it's expanded upon a little bit. It's a way to guide us into being successful and successful in uh, the sense of um, living in the midst of the covenant and fulfilling the covenant um, that we have been commanded to do, to, to do justice, to love mercy, um, to walk humbly with our God, to love our neighbors, to do all those things. That's the kind of... Um, success the the writer is talking about here's one that refers to david uh from second kings he did what was right or not in david one of his sons he did what was right in the sight of the lord and he walked in all the way of his father david he did not turn aside to the right or to the left and so you hear that phrase also applied to uh, some of the kings that followed um david from Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verse 27, we hear it this way. Do not swerve to the right or the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Um, that's good advice for driving, too. Don't swerve to the right or the left. Sometimes that can cause you some problems. Um, and I like this one from Isaiah, the 30th chapter, verse 21. And when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, your ears shall hear, hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. How many times uh, in my life I wish I would have heard that voice before I went to the right or to the left. If I would have heard it in advance, I wouldn't have swerved to the right or to the left or gone astray in some particular way. But the writer um, reminds us of God's constant and consistent guidance for us um, when we pay attention, when we listen, when we uh, focus ourselves on the Word of God, on prayer, on listening, um, and to the people of God and to the things of God. And so um, that is uh, my prayer for us, is that we listen to those voices uh, before we go to the right or the left so that we can continue to be faithful in all the things that God has commanded us to do. So let's pray. Gracious God, help us to hear your voice. Hear it through scripture. Hear it through prayer. Hear it through discussion with one another. Hear it as a voice that gives us guidance, gives us direction, shows us the ways that we would and should walk so that we can be faithful to you and to your will to walk humbly with you to love justice and love mercy, to love our neighbors, to do those things that we are called to do. So give us ears to listen, hearts to be open, and feet to do your will. In your son's name we pray. Amen. God bless. See you next time.